This is what one attorney calls legal counsel behind closed doors. He may not win your case, because you are but he promises to get you off. And you will insist to me that I touch you in any way that brings you pleasure. This man with the kindly eyes is Michael Fine, devoted husband, father of two, highly respected lawyer. He's got a gift for guiding litigants through their nerve-wracking divorces. He would tell them that he was very familiar with the courts, very familiar with the judges, and so they trusted him. But trusting him isn't such a good idea. One client tells cops after meeting with Fine she felt inexplicably tired. Her bra had been moved and noticed evidence she'd been sexually aroused. Her objection? She couldn't remember any of it. Okay, so what I put in front of you is um, a uh, parenting proceeding affidavit. The client is distraught. She has to find out what happened. She heads back to Fine's office for another meeting, but this time with a hidden camera rolling. Okay, I gotta calm down. Okay, let's do this together. There's two green dots in your fingers. Now watch how they draw together. Even a lay person could recognize that what appears to be going on is some hypnotic trance. Each time I say the word sleep, you're gonna go deeper and deeper, 10 times deeper. One, two, three, sleep. One, two, three, sleep. One, two, three, deeper and deeper, sleep. Counting backwards, relaxation techniques, breathing techniques. And in a moment, I'm going to ask you to open your eyes, but remain deeply relaxed and go sit on the couch so you can relax on the couch. Relaxed? Good. Now that she's on the couch, just watch what happens when Fine starts working as legal magic. What we're going to do, okay, one, two, three, sleep. Deeper, more relaxed. One, two, three, sleep. Are you horny? Yes. Very horny? Yes. Incredibly horny. But before Fine can expose his body of evidence... Police officers, step over here. Yes, sir. Don't touch anything. Okay. Don't worry. Just sit down. Okay. Sit down. After this video goes public, multiple other victims snap out of it and come forward, leading to this dizzying list of charges against the horny hypnotist, including kidnapping, attempted rape, and gross sexual imposition. I don't think the general public is aware, quite honestly, of how capable he was in hypnotizing these women. It wasn't someone that had to be naive or incapable. They were strong, intelligent women. And just listen to the lawyer's defense. In court documents, Fine tells investigators he was sexually stifled in his marriage. At age 59, Fine claims he has the sex drive of an 18-year-old and was not going to live like a monk for the next 20 years. Fine faces a judge in the very courthouse building where many of his crimes were committed. There's just remorse and grief in my heart for all the pain that I've caused. He plea bargains down to five counts of kidnapping and one count of attempted kidnapping. The Bar Association was extremely concerned that uh, with this kind of ability, um, not only could it be going on with others, it could have gone on in the past, but most importantly, uh, we don't want it to go on in the future. Despite having the sex drive of an 18-year-old, Fine will be living like a monk for the next 12 years in prison. And for the next 25 years, he has to register as a sex offender. It's a wake-up call for the legal watchdogs in Ohio.